Almost Pyar with DJ Mohabbat is the most clunky film title I've heard in a few years. Which makes me wonder if perhaps it is a way for writer-director Anurag Kashyap to prepare us for the film attached to it. The film is about two couples, one in London and the other in Dalhousie. The two are separated by geography and circumstances. One is in a small town and the other in one of the world's great cities. There are also differences in class, religion, identity. But the barriers they face are the same. Bigotry, patriarchy and hate so strong that there is just no reasoning with it. Not surprisingly, tragedy strikes, but Anurag, always an advocate of revolution, ends on a fiery note with DJ Mohabbat declaring, Mohabbat se hi to kranti aayegi. Anurag has said in interviews that he made the film for this one line. It is an idea worthy of our film and fitting for our divisive times. Anurag has made 22 films. Of these, only two can be really described as love stories, Dev D and Manmarzia. And neither fits into Hindi cinema's traditionally frothy bubblegum ideas of romance. Anurag prefers to delve into the messiness of relationships. His men and women are usually raw and hurting. Here too, we have almost in the title because PR is necessarily incomplete. Both couples are played by the same actors, Alaya F and debutante Karan Mehta, who from certain angles will remind you of Ranveer Singh from Ban Baja Bharat. The two stories are linked by DJ Mohabbat, played by Vicky Kaushal. DJ Mohabbat waxes eloquent about all things love, using phrases like self-validation ka bhayankar tufan, emotional cyclone, and he even tosses in Gulzar Saab's immortal lyrics from the film Khamoshi. Sirf ehsaas hai ye, ruh se mehsoos karo, pyaar ko pyaar hi rehne do, koi naam na do. For the two couples, however, pyaar quickly escalates from ehsaas to life-threatening situations. Because both couples are interfaith. In Dalhousie, it's Yaqub and Amrita. In London, it's Harbeet and Aisha. Yaqub and Amrita run away to attend a concert by DJ Mohabbat, which is five days away on Holi. The two also have a fondness for creating short form videos for a TikTok like app called Ting Tong. Amrita puts on a burqa and talks in the avatar of Saloni Gore's Nazma Api about love and longing. Meanwhile, Aisha, who's the lonely daughter of a Pakistani billionaire, chases the unresponsive Harmeet as though he's the sole cure for her empty life. At one point, she redecorates his room without asking him. But her ek tarfa pyar has little of the anguish or glossy sheen of Karan Johar's Ae Dil Hai Mushkil because she's essentially a slightly annoying entitled stalker. The film's PR material declares that it depicts the Gen Z love era. The formal design of two parallel love stories is intriguing as an idea, but Anurag is unable to adequately translate the angst or the wild abandon of younger people. None of the four characters are compelling or layered enough to hold our interest. The screenplay flits back and forth, but the plot quickly settles into tedium. Anurag wants to also include same-sex love, so there are stray references to it, but none of it seems to be really thought through. There are a few scenes in which you see sparks. At one point, Amrita plaintively asks Yaqub to lend her his shoulder because she just wants to have a good cry. You can sense the tenderness and confusion of youth, but these are too few. Mostly, almost PR with DJ Mohabbat hurtles on without purpose or propulsion. However, the double roles do give the leads ample room to perform and both do reasonably well. This is easily Alaya's strongest work. As both Amrita and Aisha, she finds a note of vulnerability. Karan also makes an assured debut, but the writing hobbles them both. It's hard to care about the emotions of any of these four characters. What stands out is Amit Trivedi's music. The soundtrack doesn't have the soaring magic of Dev D or Manmarzia, but Amit and lyricist Shelley have fun with song titles like Netflix and Chill and Ghangor Connection and of course the thumping Mohabbat Se Kranti. There is an inbuilt irreverence and recklessness. I admire that after all these years, Anurag's first instinct to experiment and push boundaries is still in place. But this film is just too half-baked to have an impact. You can watch Almost PR with DJ Mohabbat at a theatre near you.